Hey guys, what's up? Giving up 96 here doing another video for you guys today. Uh we're doing a but dum band box horror. Uh this month came back super quick. Must have got everything they needed. Uh last month they had to wait on pins and that they ended up waiting to hopefully put in this box. Um I'm sure they are. So let's uh check it out. Boom. Got our BAM paper. Oh, okay. So, um, there's three pins in here. So, I believe at the start of the end of last year, at some point, they said that uh, they were changing up the boxes. And I think one of their change ups were uh, there'll be a pin set instead of um level up pins and uh standard pins that kind of stuff i'm actually cool with that i do love my level up pins don't get me wrong but i do like that i'll get the whole set easily in one go so um yeah there's that let's go here first um creepy doll Artwork from Chris Meeks, number 2,373 out of 3,000. Not sure what that's from. Uh, we'll figure it out in the spoiler sheet. Uh, let's go to the pins next. Like I said, we got three. All right, so here's our Nosferatu. Um, we got Nosferatu here as Max Shriek, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what he goes by when he's looking like that. We'll go to the other part of the pin set right away. And there he is, as Nosferatu. Max Shriek, Nosferatu. I'm pretty sure that's how they are. I could be wrong. Um, I'm going to call it like that, though, because I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Love that we're getting pin sets. That's fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and it looks like we have the common pin from last month, if I remember the pins correctly. Right there, we got Michael Myers. So that's super cool. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. That's our Halloween Kills item from last month. So I'm happy with that. Uh, next here, we got two pins here. Well, two more pins. Uh, one's a badge, though. Boom. Woodsboro Police, which means that it is Deputy Dwight Riley or Deputy Dewey. Uh, very cool. Really happy with the dual set of this. Huge Scream fan. New Scream comes out a week from tomorrow. Uh, hopefully with uh, stuff going on doesn't get kicked out like Morbius did uh, with a week left. I'm really hoping not, but we'll see. Anyway, some sweet <laughs> Scream stuff. I love this. This is really cool. I'm in love with these. Uh, so, with two more themes left, um, I believe... I think Gremlins was in here. So maybe the art print's Gremlins. Let's see. Boom. No, art print is Child's Play. Uh, I like this uh, artwork. I'm not the biggest Child's Play fan. It's really not for me. Um, It's all right. It's just not one of my favorites. But uh, right here we got Chucky, Charles Lee Ray as a... voodoo doll with the good guy doll box and a jack-in-the-box behind him the artwork's phenomenal i really like the artwork it's 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 really good artwork even as a non child's play fan this is really cool i really do enjoy this i shouldn't say i'm not a big child's play fan i don't like the first three so i like them as they got funny but um but that's that and last but not least, 
if I'm right with Gremlins, this has to be the Gremlins item. Boom. Okay. This is um, Joe Dante here. I have a Joe Dante autograph um, already. It's an 11 by 17. I'm not a big fan of 11 by 17. The only thing that one has that this one doesn't is it has like a little mogwai uh, paw. But this is fantastic. Uh, honestly, this will probably take the place of my 11 by 17 uh, one. It's super cute, Christmassy. Love it. Uh, it says, um, cute, clever, mischievous, intelligent, and dangerous. We're back. Um, it's a little fuzzy, but overall, very good quality. Really like that. Joe Dante. <laughs> the only thing that would have been cooler for this for me is if this was the Howling. I love Gremlins, so it's a great, great autograph. It's a great autograph, great film, love the howling a little bit more. But this is super cool nonetheless. I'm really happy with this autograph. This is definitely worth a uh, price of admission. Uh, here's your chance to win a Robert England signed Funkos, uh, Linda Carter signed Wonder Woman, and a Aaron Moriarty uh, Starlight Funko Pop. Just scan that and the winners will be announced 121 2022. And next, our photo of Joe Dante. Boom. Oh, small soldiers would have been really cool for the geek box, too. Uh, Joe Dante. Uh, it says Teddy Sears. That is not Teddy Sears. That's Joe Dante. Um, and obviously, the autographs, Joe Dante. Uh, but anyway, known for Gremlins, Small Soldiers, and The Howling. Like I said, I would have preferred The Howling, but this is a great item. Gremlins is a uh, is a cult classic. Everybody loves it, so it totally makes sense why they'd choose uh, The Howling. I'm, pff, Gremlins. But let's get into it. Uh, first things first, let's just start with the auto and go back. Uh, this month's horror box has been a good end of the year and a perfect way for the per, that is perfect for the Christmas holidays. Celebrity autograph. Never feed them after midnight. Do you consider Gremlins a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? It's definitely Christmas. Uh, we choose Christmas. We are so excited to bring you an autograph from the Gremlins director, Joe Dante. Ooh. There were some really good choices for photos. Really good choices. I do like this one. I really like this stripe one, though. But, yeah. Uh, next is the art print. This month's artist is Ken Salinas, who created this crazy art inspired by child's play. Ignore that voice. Um, not a, like I said... It, it, it's a cool item. I'm just not the biggest Child's Play fan. I love the artwork. The artwork's fantastic. Bring this guy back. Do some more horror-inspired ones. I'm up for that. Uh, I did see his uh, Bill and Ted and Scream one. I believe he did a Scream one. Like, two years ago. For Christmas. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure. Uh... Our magazine slash prop this month. Uh, this month's prop replica is Woodsboro Police Badge. And name badge from the popular horror flick Scream. Uh, which is Deputy Dewey. Super cool. Uh, next. This thing. Uh, the sketch card focuses on Mr. Chuckle Teeth from the X-Files. Drawn by artist Christopher Meeks. Uh, Chris Meeks, sorry. Uh, check out the community to find the one, find the one of one hand drawn sketch cards. I've yet to get one of them, but I really want one. Uh, then we know that this is from last month, but let's go to these. These are really cool. This month's pins are inspired by the silent horror film Nosferatu. 
designed by artist Brian Romero. Be on the lookout for the Chase Glitter Set. So they're doing glitter sets. That's the new Chase. That would be really cool, actually. Um, but that's it for this month, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Next month, I believe we're looking at a triple signed uh, item. Because it's the six year anniversary. I believe the themes are Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Cabin in the Woods, and that's all I can remember offhand. Uh, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you thought of this box. I personally love it. Uh, director Joe Dante. Um, I'm all up for directors in these boxes. I mean, we can always do, we can always get, uh, villains and whatnot but i mean how often are you gonna have the chance at getting directors um i'm just a big fan of that throw in uh don Cassarelli. that'd be f phenomenal i'd be happy i already have him on my screen factory uh phantasm too but i'd be so happy i love don Cosarelli though but uh anyway that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time peace bye